arrived in Mexico City late last night. By the time I got to my Airbnb, it was midnight. After checking in and finding only one small water bottle waiting for me, I had to go out and find an open store to get some essentials like water and coffee. By the time I got to bed, it was 2.30 and then I couldn't sleep. I had planned to start exploring on my first day here, but the universe was against me. It is my first full day in Mexico City. I am walking through Roma, which is a neighborhood and I'm going to the Genius Bar because the brand new MacBook that I purchased <clears throat> won't hold a charge. Uh, I've tried a hundred different outlets, I tried a bunch of different things, I googled it. It seems like other people have this problem, but it won't charge and I have 4%. So I'm on my way to a Genius Bar to get it fixed, I made an appointment. Uh, I'm not off to a really good start here on this trip because I lost my ATM card already, day one. I think I left it in the airport machine. Uh, called the airport, they couldn't help me. Called the bank that the ATM belonged to, they couldn't help me. Called my bank, canceled the card, and they're gonna send me a new one, FedEx. But God knows how long it's gonna take to get here, if it gets here at all. And yeah, cut my finger, opening a bag of sugar this morning to make my coffee and the, I shot myself in the eye with the portable bidet that I brought with me because now that I've been using a bidet at home, I am too bougie to wipe my ass. So yeah, off to a great start. Sitting at a Starbucks at this mall, which is beautiful, waiting for my appointment to see if they can fix the MacBook. And I already got yelled at for filming. A uh, security guard asked me to delete my recording of the store that I'm about to go in. So I did. Okay, I just came back from the Genius Bar. It was the cable, and that is why my brand new MacBook did not charge. I had to pay $70 for a new cable after I just spent, you know, a lot of money for this new MacBook. So I'm pretty pissed off, and I will get that $70 back from Apple if I have to stand outside an Apple store and protest because I am super pissed off about it. And I had to waste my first day here taking care of that. So yeah. And now I'm walking down Paseo de la Reforma, which is the main, one of the main, main streets in Mexico City. And I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Yeah. I have to say though, I am pretty proud of myself that I just handled that whole situation entirely in Spanish and did really well. So there is a little bit of a silver lining, but I'm coming for Apple. As soon as I got my five gallon jug of water for the Airbnb, it started to pour. I had a long walk ahead of me and no umbrella, so I stood under an awning and waited, wondering if this was a sign of things to come, cause I'm crazy like that. started raining again and I was exhausted so I decided to hit the hay early hoping to get some good sleep. <laughs> 